today's video, I flew with the Honeywell recently in a Gulfstream G450, looking at a combined vision system, which puts synthetic vision and enhanced vision together on a heads-down display um, in an experimental system that the company may eventually market as a new product, which uh, they're convinced will give you the same situational awareness and possible landing credits to, to uh, reduced minimums as a heads-up um, vision system. I hope you enjoy it. So the process of finding uh, flying the EDS SBS combination on the heads down display. What we've found is that the pilot has a view that when he looks outside, I look down, I look at the heads down display, I look up, I look at the runway, the outside environment, I'm looking at the very same thing. Below the zero pitch reference here, this is a fully opaque uh, infrared video from the EDS camera. Above the zero pitch reference is a, is a blend between the synthetic vision and the EDS. So any terrain above the zero pitch reference will be blended with these clouds, so you'll always be able to see the terrain. Uh, no matter what the weather conditions. So on an instrument approach, when I'm flying in the weather, and I see the runway environment on the heads down display, when I look up, I see exactly the same picture. There's no translation in my mind. I don't have to wonder what I'm going to see. I don't have to look for the runway. I look up, I know what I'm going to see. The transition is easy and seamless. Always in a position to land. Uh, a, a very smooth transition. So the study that we had in the G450 here was to do a direct comparison between our head down EVS-SVS display and using the infrared imagery integrated on the HUD. So on each approach the pilots flew either on the head down or the head up and we were taking all the flight technical errors associated with their approach into the landing. Uh, we flew into a number of different areas. We flew into Atlantic City, uh, Stewart Airport, Albany, Buffalo, looking at the pilot's ability to maintain their flight path along the track all the way down to the landing. And uh, as we took all of the data, we went back, we did all of our number crunching, and the performance effects were virtually the same. The errors were all within the flight standards that you find for the, that the FAA has established and the differences between the two were insignificant, so there were no statistical differences between the head-up display and the head-down display. 